Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to start recording a set of tutorials that will help you get started with AS3 NUI and will help you launch it in Flash Builder 4.6 so that you can actually run it. So let's run a new Chrome window and go to as3nui.com, which is their website. Now, that's okay. Now, once that loads, we're going to go directly to downloads and directly to their GitHub page and go to the downloads there and just download a SIP. Now once that finishes downloading, we're going to extract that to wherever you want really, but I have a folder in the desktop called tutorial, and I'm going to extract it there. So once that is extracted, let's close all of this, and go to tutorial, drag it in here, okay, and then rename this something nice, like Air Connect. And then we're going to extract their Connect demos as well, which is the important part, which is what, mainly what we're going to show. Once that's been extracted, you can look in here and you have source, libraries, and assets. And that's essentially the, the most important thing you should remember. So this is assuming you have Flash Builder 4.6 and you have the Connect SDK installed, um, the beta 2. I'm not sure if it works on beta 1, but that's what I have installed. And you can check that by running the sample skeletal viewer. See, it runs 29 frames per second. Okay, so let's launch Flash Builder and keep this window minimized, but keep it around. So once we've run that, uh, let's start by creating a new project, an action script project. We'll call this AS3 Nui Tutorial. Running on desktop. Next, and. Library path and native extensions, we'll deal with that later, but just press finish. Now your project has been created. Oh, I called it AS3 for Nui. Let's rename that real quick. Ooh, can I yeah, rename AS3 Nui. My bad. Okay. Uh abort. Okay, I hope that works. It seems to have messed up a little bit, but um, moving forward, um, now we're gonna include these libraries, which means the tutorial. Uh, we're going to go back here in the connect demos, which I believe we actually already had open here. Yeah, there we go. And copy these three things into the Flash Builder folder for AS3 Nui. And just paste them in there and say yes. And these assets, libraries, and sources are now there. Now, in the libraries, you have the SWIC files which the demos use. and the assets, the extension has the AirConnect extension, which is the important part. So in properties, we're going to go to build path native extensions, and then add A and E, browse, and choose not that one, but the AS3 new tutorial assets extension, this one. Chose it, perfect. And then in the library path, we're going to add a SWIC folder, and just call that the AS3 new libraries. Okay. And we added the libraries, and then your packaging, you're going to say package the native extension just say yes to this that's fine apply and okay so now we have this running now in the next tutorial i'll show you how to actually write a file that runs and shows the demo awesome thank you <laughs> so now we are back for the second part of the tutorial and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the source folder Go to the com as3 nui airconnect demos and open airconnectdemos.as. This is what is going to lead us through what we're going to do to actually run our application. So, as you can see in their constructor, which is what will get run, um, we have an event listener that adds things to the stage. So, let's copy that event listener over and say, and we have to import event, and I use, I backspace out of it and press control space. And that shows me the different options I have, and that allows me to import instantly. Then we're also going to copy the on added to stage function, which is the only other function we're going to copy over. And say once you add it to oh, once you paste it, add it to stage. Do that, and we don't want all this. We just want to align the stage and scale it. And well, actually not scale it, but we'll import those things up here and save it. Now the only other thing we have to do is, if we were running this in development mode, it would only call it load demo, which really only adds a child of a basic demo. And that's legitimately all we have to do. We have to copy this line and say, hey, on add to stage, 
run the basic demo and basic demo can be found so we'll just import that so there we go that's five import statements and 24 lines of code and so now let's try and run this and as you can see we have run it and now we can see the connect camera and the depth camera and as we walk into the scene we can see the skeleton so that's a really straightforward way of running this and making it work so awesome yeah um in my next demos i'll be running through what the code inside basic demo has and what things you'll have to do to actually be able to modify that code and get different types of things from the connect but hopefully this tutorial has helped you get started on using as3 newly to create things awesome thank you